I also want to briefly address one myth about inflated gas prices. They're not due to environmental measures. My effort to combat climate change is not raising the price of gas or increasing its availability. It, what it's doing, it's increasing the availability of jobs. So folks, inflation is rising, but that also means larger stimulus relief money for the Social Security beneficiaries. The SSA has officially confirmed the exact amount that Americans will be receiving in monthly checks very soon. This week, uh, millions of Americans, including some of the people in this room, are likely to be hitting the road, reuniting with their loved ones in cities and towns all across America to celebrate Thanksgiving. As they do, I want to take a moment to talk about the economy, both the progress we made and the challenges we remain that we have to face. We made historic progress over the last 10 months. Unemployment is down to 4.6 percent, two years faster than everyone expected. When we started this job, it was over 14 percent. Wages are rising. Disposable income is up. More people are starting small businesses than ever before. And our economy has created a record 5.6 million jobs since I became president on January 20th. There's a lot we can be proud of and a lot we can build on for the future. But we still face challenges in our economy. Disruptions related to the pandemic have caused challenges in our supply chain, which has sparked concern about shortages and contributed to higher prices. Moms and dads are worried, asking, will there be enough food we can afford to buy for the holidays? Will we be able to get Christmas presents to the kids on time? And if so, will they cost me an arm and a leg? I told you before that we're going to take action on these problems. That's exactly what we're doing. It starts with my port action plan, a, a proactive three-month effort to invest in our ports and relieve bottlenecks. Forty percent of the goods, for example, that come into this country on the West Coast come through two ports, Los Angeles and Long Beach. To help ease the congestion at these ports, I brought together labor and management and asked them to step up and cooperate. To move from operating the ports at 40 hours a week at those ports to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I provided the resources to other key ports, including Savannah, Georgia, and on the East Coast, on the East Coast, and to help reduce congestion and undo damage caused by COVID. We also met with the CEOs of Walmart, Target, Home Depot, TJ Maxx, and others. Those retailers, large retailers, and others agreed to move products more quickly stock the shelves more quickly. And by the way, you may have heard the CEO of Walmart yesterday on the steps we've taken. He said, and I quote, the combination of private enterprise and government working together has been really successful. He went on to say, all the way through the supply chain, there's a lot of innovation. Because of the actions we've taken, things have begun to change. End of quote. In the past three weeks, the number of containers sitting on docks blocking movement are down by 33 percent. Shipping prices are down 25 percent. More goods are moving more quickly and more cheaply out of our ports, onto your doorsteps and onto store shelves. And so all these concerns a few weeks ago, there would be uh, there would not be ample food available for Thanksgiving. So many people talked about that, understandably. But families can rest easy. Grocery stores are well stocked with turkey and everything else you need for Thanksgiving. And the major retailers I mentioned are con have confirmed that their shelves will be well stocked in stores this holiday season. And that's good news for those moms and dads who are worried about whether the Christmas gifts will be available. It goes for everything from bicycles to ice skates. You know, today, though, I... So this is your fourth stimulus check update in Daily News Report, everybody. So welcome back to the channel. Let's go over most important stimulus check information. And you want to be sure to stay until the end of this video to find out the latest news about the Ford stimulus payments. Now, so far, the Social Security Administration announced a massive 5.9% increase for beneficiaries. This represents the largest increase on a year-to-year -year basis for nearly 40 years. Each year, the Social Security Administration issues a cost of living adjustment, and that's designed to reflect a gradual increase in prices and ensure that Social Security recipients are not out of pocket. And the 5.9% boost will come into effect for payments issued in 2022. It is the largest increase since a 7.4% boost in the early 1980s. 
and that far exceeds the 1.3% adjustment made for 2021. The unique economic conditions of the crisis and the huge amount of federal stimulus spending in the past 18 months have caused a period of high inflation and costs have increased accordingly. Now before the end of the year, the SSA will send all beneficiaries a letter explaining how their monthly payments will be affected by the increase. You can also check your new entitlement by accessing your My Social Security account online. In 2021, the average monthly benefit for retired workers was $15, was $1,565, and that is expected to rise to around $1,657 when the upcoming 6% increase is factored in. Now, this means that the average retirement benefits recipients can, can expect an increase of around $92 per month. SSI is designed to provide top-up payments for those whose ability to work is affected by disabilities, but who do have some form of income. The monthly payments are available to adults and children with disabilities whose income and resources are below certain thresholds. In 2021, the average monthly payments for an individual was around $794, but that figure is expected to rise to around $47 to $841. Now, couples who claim SSI should see their average payments increase by around $70 per month. And also, some significant changes to Medicare could also be on the way. With the White House passage of the $1.7 trillion Build Back Better Act, provisions that would improve Medicare have moved a step closer to becoming law. The Senate must still pass its version, and the possibility exists that any final measure agreed upon by both chambers may look different. If the Medicare provisions remain intact, the federal government would be permitted for the first time to negotiate on prices of prescriptions. And that move is intended to bring down the cost of some prescriptions. Additionally, Beneficiaries out of pocket spending for Medicare's benefits will be capped at around $2,000 annually. That's beginning in 2024. And that's the cost for insulin will be limited to $35 a month. Hearing services would also be covered under Part B and starting in 2023. This would include hearing rehabilitation and treatment services. But before Biden's bill came to a vote, the bill will require a birdbath, under which provisions are scrutinized for compliance with arcane budget rules. It will also require a voterama, allowing virtually unlimited amendments during which Republicans will seek to remove or edit provisions, enforce, partic enforce politically difficult votes. But a single successful change could disrupt or scuttle the delicate deal among Democrats, which puts extra pressure on party leaders to keep senators unified. Now, paid leave is one of the provisions that is most likely to change the bill. The House passed legislation includes four weeks of guaranteed paid family medical leave. It's a high priority of many Democrats. The House passed legislation would also raise the debt, would also raise a $10,000 limit for state and local tax deductions. Now, a group of Democrats in high tax states demanded it to win their support for the bill. They argued that the limit established by Republicans in 2017 taxes their middle class constituents. What are your thoughts on this, everybody? Tell me in the comments down below. Now, I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. If you have any more questions about the Fort Stimulus check, tell me in the comments down below.